na siku ya jana uh, tuliweza kuangalia part 2 of our message the hope that never disappoint kwa sababu kuna tumaini lakini ukiwa nalo you will be disappointed na watu wengi sio kwamba hawana tumaini lakini shida ni kwamba mahali tumaini lao limewekwa kwenye msingi ambao umewekwa if there is guaranteed you will be disappointed and i want to tell you and i want to remind you uh, as you hear the word of god let the word of god change you na ikaweze kubadilisha mahali ambapo umeweka tumaini lako kama umeliweka kwa nguvu za, za mwanadamu kama umeziweka kwenye pesa ama kwenye certificate you will be disappointed but when your foundation is in the word of god the bible says that this hope does not disappoint us so let your hope be on the foundation of the word of god on god himself and on his power to perform and yesterday we said about there is hope for a tree and uh, because there is hope for that tree there is hope for your case no matter how desperate it is now huyo mti ukipokea tu umande ama mvua kutoka binguni biblia inasema it will sprout again and therefore what seems uh, dry now it may be dry but the moment the season changes there will be life into the dead situation and i come here to declare may there be life in your life may there be a new season i bring to you the reign of the spirit yeah i declare the reign of the spirit ya kwamba katika mambo yako yote ya kwamba mvua ya mungu itakunyeshea na italeta mabadiliko and today because of time i want us because time is far much gone but we thank god today i want us to 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 go deeper about the the hope that never disappoints and uh, and today i want to talk about the blessed hope yeah, yeah, yeah there is a hope we call the blessed or the blessed hope uh the, the, it's not that we have a cast hope but the bible calls it the blessed hope in the book of uh, titus chapter number 3 no chapter 2 titus chapter number 2 and verse 11 Titus chapter number 2 reading from verse 11 this is what the bible says for the grace of god that brings salvation has appeared to all men but it has not benefited all men it may appear to all men but it does not benefit all men and and the purpose of this grace it is that it teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled upright and godly lives in this present age while we wait for the blessed hope praise the lord so there is a hope that we are waiting for while we wait for the blessed hope the glorious appearing of our great god and savior Jesus Christ who gave himself for us to redeem us from all wickedness and to purify for himself a people that are his very own eager to do what is good listen to verse 15 these then are the things you should teach because this is Titus a young pastor and Paul is the outgoing anaenda na ni mzee na akamwambia these are the things you should teach encourage and rebuke with all authority do not let anyone despise you amen so these are the things that you should teach teach them about the blessed hope na ili hata wakati wanakaa mimi wapendwa i want to to bring you to a position i want to bring you to a level whereby you need to know that when we are born again it is like sahizi wewe ni mkenya lakini ukiwa mkenya ukienda hapa uganda 
you even if you have 1000 Kenya shillings it does not operate there you must get the currency of that place so that you can operate in that new place you need to change the currency and that means when we got born again we changed kingdoms and that is why in the kingdom of God, there is the currency that works. And that is why, ukifanya, ukifanya kila jambo katika ufalme wabwana, you cannot walk like the world. You cannot do business with God like the way the world does. There is the currency of heaven. There is the currency of believers. Ndiyo maana kuna mambo ambayo inaonekana ni upuzi tunapoifanya. But we know salvation is foolishness to them that are perishing. But to, to us who are born again, it is the power of God. We know this is the currency that operates in the kingdom of God. Praise the name of the Lord. Na ndiyo maana ningetaka kuambia, katika kila hali ya mkristo, kama huelewi kinachofanya kazi, katika ufalme wa mungu, utajaribu kuleta njia za ulimwengu. You will try to interpret God in the ways of the world. You will try to transact with God in the ways of the world and you will always fail but when you understand the kingdom currency praise the Lord unapoelewa ni nini kinafanya kazi hapa you will be able to have authority may you give may you get understanding of the kingdom currency that works in this kingdom ndio maana ningetaka kuambia nyinyi vijana Stop arguing in social media. Trying to convince your friends. They are not operating in the same kingdom. These things are foolishness. Yani hii mambo ya kuomba. Hii mambo ya kumfuata mungu. Hii mambo ya kutoa. Hii mambo ya utakatifu ni ujinga. Kwa wale wanao potea. Lakini kwa sisi tumeokoka. It is the power of God. So that it can dictate to you what you are going to do. I'm telling you, you will never succeed in this kingdom. So I, I want to tell you the, the, the kingdom of God, the faith is the currency. Yani any transaction in the kingdom of God, it is on the legal tender of faith. Faith is the legal tender of any transactions in transaction in the kingdom yani ukiingia kenya pesa ya kenya ndiyo legal tender lakini ukipita mipaka ya kenya kama sio dola ambayo inakubalika mahali kwingi ukipita mipaka ya kenya the legal tender it is only limited to that country lakini katika ufalme wa bwana if you don't understand faith Yani unapo ambiwa, you will be blessed and you, you, you look at your business account you look at your ability then you will fail for the bible says the just shall live by faith amen na, na, na katika hii mani, which is the legal tender we said that faith does not operate on itself Imani haiwezi fanya kazi peke yake. Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. So you remove hope, then faith cannot stand. Therefore it is faith, no, it is hope that is the substance of the faith. Praise the Lord. And ndio maana ningetaka kuambia ukianza kuwa na tumaini kama tumaini ya watu wa ulimwengu katika ufalme huu na nini nidi kalete kanitha ine muno no andu alia maana litoherwa ni kihonoko no thamaki wa ngai ni tondu they did not understand what works here. They did not apply Yaani hawakuelewa katika hii ufalme tunatangaza mambo ambayo hayapo kama yalipo. 
we, we, we call things that are not as though they are. We talk of a heaven we have never seen, but the eye of faith has seen it. We speak as if we have all the power, and yes, we have all the power. Lakini ukija hapa ukianza kuongea kama vile watu wanasema ya kwamba coronavirus itatumaliza ya kwamba watu hawawezi inuka ya kwamba sisi kwetu kuliachwa laana when we come we look at our foundations and we begin to face them and tell them if any man is in Christ Jesus he is a new creation the old is gone and behold all things have become new and we call ourselves mimi sina damu ya watu wetu tena wakati nilimpokea Yesu nilipokea damu ya mwana kondo and therefore i carry the dna of god the father na nimezaliwa na mungu and whatever is born of god it overcometh the world and we, this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith if i am born of god i am an overcomer So I don't look at how many people kwa familia yetu ambao who have conquered ambao wenye wameshinda hata kama kwetu kuko na sukari when i come into the kingdom of god the blood will neutralize the blood will work out and i am going to make it hata kama kwetu kuna generational curses when i receive jesus christ i become an heir with abraham and now there are generational blessings for i am blessed as for me and my house we are for signs and wonders praise the lord So ninataka kuambia wapendwa usipo ukiokoka na ukose kuelewa the currency Yaani sisi tutakuwa tunakuhubiria mambo ukienda ulimwengu because the world operates by facts the kingdom of god operates by faith and faith will always defeat fact the fact is abraham is old The fact is Sarah is barren. The fact is Sarah is too old. According to biology, Sarah hawezi kupata mimba maana mwanamke wa miaka 90 it is impossible by all human standards. Na hapo science inaweza sema the fact is it is not possible. But when you bring faith, the Bible says by faith Sarah also hallelujah at the mad come it now do what we take ya sara onake akiamukira hinya wa kugiata mwadhani ya rogo so so there is an operation there is something that sara understood that what science says no the lord of god says all things are possible unto him that believeth eesh hallelujah and this is the currency and this is the faith that this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith so brethren you need to build up your faith build up yourself in the most holy faith yani unajenga imani na hii imani it is based on the hope that you have na ndio maana we, we, we said yesterday everything can be lost but if you have not lost hope you have not lost everything the worst thing to lose is hope by the way unajua mtu hata akipoteza mali na asipoteze imani i mean tumaini then that person will leave lakini mtu hata kama ako na pesa hata kama ako na mali lakini apoteze tumaini no matter what you have if you lose hope you lose everything Now the people you see committing suicide some of them are well educated some of them they have great potential but they have lost an ingredient when you lose it you lose everything so if there is something you should never lose never lose hope Yani lakini si si imani ama tumaini lolote no i'm saying that hope that has foundation on the word of god 
Because my hope is not just vain hope. Sio imani bure hapana. Sio imani yote ya kwamba ukisikia mimi ninasema nitainuka, sio tu kusema na mdomo hapana. It is not just positive confession. No, I am saying what the word of God says. My hope is in the word, my hope is in God, and my hope is in his power. And therefore, people of God, there is hope for a tree. Even if it is cut down, when the right season comes, if, this, if the tree remains rooted, mizizi ikikubali kukaa chini, Yani ai mizizi milino yete kira mm, ona yete kira etule teline ona komete milio erwa terere ne kure hedere yoka na milio nere huti yone mae na irera ria matuine na ne guterera mudu wo the way haha ona kuki korwa ne kwe maudu magoti nirie na kumuturira waku you are cut down the Bible, somebody said you may in a ring wakati watu wanapigana you may be knocked down but a knockdown is not a knockout and as long as you do you, the, the bible says a righteous man may fall seven times but he keeps on rising mudu mudhigwa go amaita mugwaja biashara yake temagwo maita mugwaja e ukona ningi ni aragoire o ringi no o agwa yani akoragwa rugamite ona atagwite listen you are ready to stand even before you fall at ni ke ide muire Niona ona dagwa goretwo jukirite ona ona haria gagwira already ne jikite ati ne jukirite ukugudreda i just want to remind you let your hope be in him and now we want to share about the blessed hope and this is the focus of our hope the, the focus yesterday we talked about the operation of the hope the functioning uh, or the other day to liongea the foundation today we talk about the focus of our of our hope it is the blessed hope and the grace of god that has appeared that bringeth salvation it has appeared to all men teaching us to say no to every form of ungodliness and to live upright lives looking forward for that blessed hope which is the coming of our lord jesus christ and titus was told teach these things and those are the things that i want to teach there is a hope that we call the blessed hope. And I want to show you how your life must operate in this hope we are calling the blessed hope. And listen, if you can give us 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 19. 1 Corinthians chapter number 15. We read verse 19. Are we, get, are we there? 1 Corinthians we read chapter number 15 and uh, uh, we read verse 19. Are we there? Good, I'm already there. The Bible says, If only for this life we have hope in Christ, we are to be pitied more than all men. Hmm. I wish you understand what it says. Let me use a better translation. And if we have hope in Christ only for this life, we are the most miserable people in the world. If the only hope you have, if only in this life we have hope, and there is no more hope beyond this life, you have hope in Christ. He, he Paul alikuwa, watu ambao walikuwa wanasema there is no resurrection. Na walikuwa wanasema wale wamekufa ni kama wamepotea. Lakini Paul akawaambia, if the only hope you have, it is only in this life, you are the most miserable person. And I want to say, when we talk of hope or the blessed hope, Number one, it is hope that is beyond this life and this world. 
hope that you have it is hope it focuses let me say better hope the blessed hope focuses on something that is beyond this life and this world hope that focuses on something beyond this life and this world that means it focuses on eternity and i want to share more about that maana pengine hii injili hata hatuipokei sana ya kwamba kuna uzima wa milele na watu biblia inasema kama tumaini ambalo uko nalo liko katika maisha haya you will be the most miserable person if you don't have hope beyond this life beyond this world you are the most miserable and you will be more miserable in this life Blessed hope it focuses on something beyond this world beyond this life and it sees something that the eyes of the flesh cannot see na watu wengi tumaini lao liko katika maisha haya tu that is why they only operate in this world no more hope beyond their business the the years they live here on earth and that is why we have a lot of miserable people there is generation yetu ni generation inaonekana kama iko na furaha but it is fake that is why i'm telling you stop faking it kuko na entertainment size tumepitia thika town ukiangalia watu na dance zenye ziko venye watu wanasema wanafurahia but the same people wenye wanasema wanafurahia ndio wana commit suicide very miserable ndio wako na depression na ukienda next this weekend saturdays kila watu entertainment mnapeleka watoto tu to enjoy mnafanya kila kitu but the same people very miserable you know why their hope is only in this world they have no more hope beyond this life hata ukiangalia people try everything those who are trying new new fashion some people are drinking some other people are doing sex as if it is the one that will bring joy but they end up becoming miserable and we have a very miserable generation No wonder kuna mauaji maana watu hawana tumaini lakini ukiangalia wakijipost kwa Facebook utaweza fikiria wako na furaha venye wameonyesha akinunua kila nguo mpya but these people after some few days they have committed suicide why they have they are miserable don't don't be cheated usidanganywe na picha za Facebook Usidanganywe na vitu mpya wapendwa hawana tumaini maana tumaini lao liko only in this world lakini ukiwa na tumaini that we call the blessed hope you can say this world is not my home hata kama mambo ni mabaya my hope it transcends and it goes beyond this life nyide na kirigiriro makiria ma mutuliri oyu na nikio ona dige kuwa goro tondu kirigiriro giakwa gitire thini wa muturire oyu tu therefore i want to tell you young people and the people of our generation maana mpaka wale the old ones who, who, the, the elderly wameanza kuwa absorbed na hii mambo they are to trying to display as if there is something but the taste is hollow it is empty people are living empty lives but you may think they have it all together ndio maana unadanganyika unaona kama watu wengine wote wako na furaha venye wanapigwa picha venye wana post venye wanafanya mambo na wewe unaona kama you are the, the least of all of them lakini baada ya some time you wonder as these the same people when you walikuwa wanajipost hivi na the, the news is that they have committed suicide and all murders What happened misery because they are hope is in this place agikorwo kirigiriro giaku kimuturire ini uyu tu wewe muduria ugukorwo na muturira wa kieha kiriotari wona the blessed hope says 
you must have hope in eternity no matter what you are going na ndio maana when the disciples na when the people who followed god hata kama walipitia mambo gani they never give up because paul was saying for me to live is christ and to die is gain even if i lose anything i can lose everything because my hope is not in this life na jana ndio tukaongea kuhusu ayubu mtu ambaye alikuwa na imani na na tumaini tumaini lake halikuwa ma, ma, kwa mambo ya ulimwengu lakini mama the hope was only in this life and in this world that is why she was miserable but for uh, uh, for job he was not miserable brethren the blessed hope it sees something it focuses on something bigger something better and that which is eternal na ndio maana ninahubiria kanisa wacha mambo ma, ma, mawazo yako wacha macho yako yakaweze kuona something that is eternal we have an eternal city before us there are thousands of years hii miaka ya hapa duniani haiwezi tufanya tukufe moyo we are just strangers in this world we will keep the hope because our hope is not only in this world we have hope beyond the grave that is the blessed hope praise the lord and this is now the biblical hope number two, the blessed hope it moves us to prepare and live holy lives in the present as we look forward for the second coming of the lord hey, sasa hii ndio ujumbe watu hawapendi kianza kuhubiri the second coming eh hey, watu wanataka hapana pastor wetu ili ori atogutoka we atogutoka i am preparing i want to give you the biblical hope The biblical hope and the blessed hope it it helps us or we are saying it moves us to prepare itu maini inakufanya ufanye inakusaidia ufanye maandalizi it moves you to prepare and it makes you live holy lives in the present maana uko na tumaini beyond this life it will move you to prepare and to live a holy life in the present as you look forward for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and this is the hope that inspires holiness this is the hope that inspires purity in the present life ndio maana ukiwa na hili tumaini when you have this hope you will keep yourself pure you will begin to prepare because you know that Jesus Christ is coming on a day the second coming of Christ it can come on a day that i am not expecting and i will therefore prepare for the second coming of the lord jesus christ in the book of first peter no first john chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 first john we read chapter 3 first john chapter 3 verse 2 and 3 the bible says dear friends now we are children of god and what we will be has not yet been made known but we know that when he appears that means when he comes again we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as the lord is pure that is why i am saying hope will move you to purity hope will inspire holiness when you have hope of the second coming ma, that is why the church is not going for purity these days ndio maana kuna uchafu kanisani ndio maana watu wamezini kanisani maana wamekosa tumaini and they are no longer preparing for the second coming brethren when you are thinking of the coming of the lord you cannot be careless we have a very careless generation 
And they don't want these messages. They just want comforting messages. Messages to inspire them in this world. But the Bible is saying, those people who have this hope, they purify themselves. The blessed hope will always move you to be holy. It will not allow you to live in sin. Lakini sahizi, we have a generation that is de demanding and that is discussing, debating, is this sin? Pastor, should we do this? Should I be married to that person? Is fornication sin? Can we do this and this? Brethren, when you are expecting the coming of the Lord, you have no business. Whether, whether this is sin, you keep yourself pure. You cannot defend yourself in sin. Praise the Lord. watu hawana tumaini tena. That when he will come. Brethren, when, when you are expecting someone to come. ate No, no, no. na gari Gari, gari gari Muruina gatia ati ne nuajiri te ati neogoka ati na 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 ne dago etagirira na daiguaga o gari aruruma gaso diriria ati o da o gari aruruma na neguwa daru gete ati agamatu be maige agana na itoero ruina gatia aya lu no iguwa lu modo yo todo he modo etere iguwa gari re agaso diriria o iguwa gari teru ni etero my father o kaga Oh, Jumari. I, I loved my father. Na, and I yearned when he would come. Na, luku wogu wa mudhenya wa Juma. Siku ya Juma Mosi. Ne, ne, hari, au magira hari ya murimo. Murimo wa ivigo. No, no, if you netuwa mwe. You knew even the walking style. Ya my father. So, vile ambavyo ungefanya. Kutoka kitu saane. Wewe unakanji. Hata ukifanya kazi. Walutagawiru kasoko. Kaiki ya lizo muremo. Todu ni urame nya heke doe. Tere ire. Marire ya tuwa nagamuthe newe olia. You would run and run. Mpaka kule ngambo. Unamlaki mze. Maana ulikuwa wakati. Unamgojea na unamtarajia. You would always make yourself ready. The reason why people are not ready. They are not expecting the Lord. Yani kizazi chetu, hakutarajimu kumuokozi ya nakuja. Bible inasema, he will come at a day you never expect. That is why, no the no mweni ati, tuamuroragama ukahigesi than yoko onane mudhe. Uga tengera, no uisho kako vye, urako onane mudhe uri uge. Uga vye we muhitu kanite, no do kweda gotu ya tenu ya kudhaga anaga, no uga vye uhitu kete na uka menya, haa, adwa gai ne dahe gese ka. But, but, but this is the point. Because one is looking forward, they will always prepare in the present. What are you doing currently? What is the church of Jesus doing? Have we lost hope of the coming of the master? Biblia inasema, Akuja kwa mwana yesu, ama kwa mwana kondo, ama kwa ufalme wa mungu, italinganishwa na wale wasichana watano. Wengine walikuwa werevu, wengine walikuwa wajinga. And they were preparing, and they could not allow themselves to sleep. Yani walikuwa wako makini. They were so sensitive. Someone who knows Jesus can come any time. You don't live carelessly. Praise the Lord. When you have this hope, you will purify yourself. Hawa wasichana watano, wakawa na mafuta ya kutosha. Na hawa wengine, they began to be careless. When Jesus delays, some people begin to be careless. Na hiyo mfano inaonyeshwa, kuna watu katika siku ya mwisho. In the beginning they were passionate, but along the way they lost the passion of the coming of the Lord. They lost hope, wakaanza kuwa careless, matazao zikazima, lakini wakaenda kwa wale wengine, wakawaambia waka wawazime mata, ma, mafuta, and they told them, we don't have enough for you and for us. Wakamuambia nyinyi nendeni mukanunue, but when they went, the master came. And so shall it be, siku ya mwisho.
Sasa ndiyo wanajaribu kukimbia maana kuna there was a time they had all the time to prepare but they never prepared and i call my generation i call everyone people of god live as if he is coming the next minute yes live as if before noon or before midnight today he will come mimi siku moja nilipookoka 1994 ni need you my old my day i used to interpret the bible literally na, na nilikuwa mdogo sana na nilikuwa nimesoma na nimesikia wahubiri wa siku hizo wakihubiri atakuja usiku kama mwizi leo ni kwa kinyo tuko ni dai karaga joy oka go tuko ta mwizi ni ona ngithie gukoma damwira ga mwatha ni tondu goka ta mwizi otuko leo ni ngithkoma ni dakuhoya woka And I want to tell you people of God if there is something I am passionate about it is to spend eternity with God I better lose everything else nothing matters the greatest thing I am passionate about ni kwamba ningetaka kukaa na Mungu eternally and I am committing myself I keep on purifying myself because I have this hope. Na singe singe taka siku moja niwe kama wale watano wakati walienda kujitayarisha ile wasa ndio waliofika and the door was locked. Walikuja sasa wakiwa na mafuta lakini wakaambiwa it is too late for you. May yet never be so for you. May yet never be too late for you to repent. This is the day to repent. This is the day to reconcile with God. Mwenye anatembea katika dhambi, he may come when you are in sin. Na utasema nilikuwa natumika kanisani, lakini atakwambia, I didn't know you because you never purified yourself. You never maintained the hope of his coming. That means as you were cleansed by Jesus on the cross there is a continuous purifying of yourself unajua kuna nyinyi watu wa kizazi hiki mnasema one saved forever saved you want to to change the theology but the bible says whoever teaches a new doctrine may they be cast because there is a convenient doctrine doctrine ambayo inawafanya you become more sinful na you comfort yourself one saved forever saved the bible says here clearly whoever has this hope purifies not purified or was purified that means it is a continuous thing that you keep on doing maana niko natumaini anaweza kuja i keep on purifying myself i don't quit sin i quit sin Many of us are quoting sin instead of quitting sin. That is why this blessed hope it will move you to prepare and be holy in the present. Saa hizi tunakaa hapa ulimwenguni hata kama huna pesa you will still make yourself pure. Hata kama mambo yameharibika you will because you have this hope you will purify yourself. Number three, about the blessed hope this is very important when you have the blessed hope and the blessed hope talks about the second coming of Jesus when you have the blessed hope it inspires commitment to soul winning and giving people hope beyond this life when you have this hope it will inspire you to win souls for soul winning to bring others to the lord because the time is short and it will move you not only to win souls for jesus but it will move you to give people hope beyond this life maana watu wa kizazi hiki they need to be told there is hope beyond this life there is hope beyond what you are experiencing there is hope beyond the challenges and beyond the success and the comfort of this life 
And I want to tell you people of God, if only in this hope you have, in this life you have hope, we said you are the most miserable person. It will move you to win souls. So do you have hope? You don't want to, you know this person, akikufa hivi, they will go to hell. But when you have this blessed hope, you will always desire to witness to someone. You will always desire to win that your friend. Imagine you are that college mate. Imagine that your daughter, that your sister, that person who is close to you, that Facebook friend. And you know if they die today, they have not committed their lives to Jesus. They would go to hell. When you have the blessed hope, you will be moved to win that soul for Jesus. Are we desiring to win souls? Are we going for souls for the Lord? Are we giving people hope? Unasikia mtu, anasema, I am now hopeless. I, I think I have come to the end of my life. Na sasa wewe kwa Facebook unamkomentia. Give yourself strength. Yeah, you, you, you can make it. This is not the last battle. You have made it in the past. Apana, huyo mtu mutafuta muambie. There is hope beyond this life. And the hope is only found in Christ. You need to receive Jesus. Wacha kupatia watu maneno yako. That is why I, I don't like when people keep on saying at niye jugago au niye to guy diri odo jugaga. Because today your great maxims and uh, adages they will be great. Ukisema kijambo people will quote you. But like this gentleman who was saying Wakati aliwin marathon, Ineos, alisema no human is limited. But Juzi akweza kumek. And he said, I cannot win all things, all times. Because you will always confirm, you, you can even be quoting and saying no human is limited. Brethren, I want to tell you every human is limited. There are things you cannot do. And there are things you will never do. That is why, ata ukisema jambo inaonekana, it is so positive. It will only inspire on that moment. But when we have the word of God, it is firmly settled in heaven. That is why, when you have this hope, you will look for the hopeless. And you will not give them hope only in this world. Hope only for the good of the restoration of their situation. But you will tell them there is hope beyond this life. You begin to win souls for Jesus. You embrace the, the great commission. By the way, up to this end, we are almost coming to the end of the year. Have you told someone about Jesus? Have you been sharing with your friends? Or have you only been eating? Munaenda party, munaenda bash, munafurahia, muna chat, muna pigwa picha. But do you take a moment and give them hope beyond this life? Brethren, God is looking unto you. So that in the network of your friends, you can be the voice of God. You can be telling people, my sister, even though things have worked badly against you, ata kama umekua diagnosed in that this terminal disease, ata kama corona imefanya hivi, ata kama your relationship is not working, I want to tell you there is hope beyond this life. And that hope is only given by Jesus. And therefore, you can lose everything here on this world. But that hope, don't lose it. I, call, I, I want to challenge you. Before the year ends, would you look for one soul? Would you go for someone? Would you invite someone to the church? Would you bring someone to the kingdom and you come and tell them, I want to introduce to you or I want to introduce you into a life that is a life of eternal hope. When you have hope, that is the blessed hope. Hope that looks for the second coming. You know for me, I always, kuna musichana tulikuwa tunasoma na yeye, 
nilikuwa form form 2 yeye alikuwa form 4 na alikuwa wa kijiji yetu sasa tuki, tukienda nyumbani maana sisi tulienda day school Tuki, tukienda nyumbani akaniambia Ben ninasikia ninaumwa na kichwa sana then I, I thought ni ile jua yenye ilikuweko nikamwambia it shall be well it was on a wednesday then on thursday she did not come to school on friday nikasikia amepelekwa hospitali mimi friday hiyo wakati i was cashering every friday kwa kanisa yetu So I went for Kesha then on Saturday asubuhi na mapema tukaenda Gatundu uh, General Hospital kumuona hey, the, the case the situation was deteriorating over this young girl she was only 19 years then on Sunday huyo msichana akakufa very young na alikuwa only like 10 days to do the KCSE then my question was maana hata wakati huo nilikuwa nimeokoka did i preach to this young lady about jesus she has died i don't know the, the dakika ya mwisho ya mwisho kama aliweza kukubali yesu akiwa kwenye kitanda but i was asking myself did i at any given moment share jesus lakini nikakumbuka there was a time tulikuwa kwa maombolezi kijiji yetu watu walianza kukufa sana Mi, mwaka ule watu wakakufa kama nani ile maombolezi tulikuwa tunaenda ya usiku kwa watu tano mfululizo mkizika huyu mwingine anakufa then i was so passionate kuhubiri katika ile maombolezi ya usiku and i remembered in those moments i used to preach the word and that young lady had the word of god I don't know whether she committed her life but think of your friend who may die without Jesus and she goes to hell he goes to hell because no one you chatted you did everything together but you never introduced them to Jesus when we talk of the blessed hope it always desires it inspires you to bring souls to Jesus and even to give them hope number four, when we have this hope the blessed hope it does not look back hey, this hope never looks back but it looks to the future and the fulfillment of god's promises in the book of hebrews it never looks back but it looks forward to the future and the fulfillment of God's promises. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11, we read from verse 13. This blessed hope haitazami nyuma. Hata kama mambo ni mabaya kiasi gani, haiangalii nyuma. It always looks forward. It it never looks back. It looks forward even to the fulfillment of the promises of God. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 verse 13, all these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. And they admitted that they were aliens and strangers in the world. So you know now your hope it makes you not comfortable in the world. It makes you look beyond this world. People who say such things, they show that they are looking for a country of their own. Verse 15. This is what I wanted you to know. If they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had an opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly country. Therefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. Praise the name of the Lord. They were not looking back. Wakati walikuwa na tumaini, hata kama hawajatimiziwa ahadi, hata kama mambo yalikuwa magumu, they never looked back because if they looked back, they would have had an opportunity to go back. 
but they were looking forward and they were saying there is a city we are hoping for a better country a heavenly country and God was not ashamed even to be called the God may you be such a person who is saying no matter what happens I will not look back I will look forward there is a city I am believing I will get there the city of the Lord a better city than Nairobi a better city than Washington a better city than the best cities the heavenly city when you have that hope you keep on saying I will move forward I will keep on moving I will keep on desiring the city the city of the Lord I will not look backwards this blessed hope it makes you to look forward and never to look back people look back when there are no more when there is no more hope and they begin to be attracted by the past ndio watu wanarudi nyuma maana wamekosa picha that is why i want to paint before you there is a better city there is a heavenly city no matter the the, the 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 goodness in this world no matter how comfortable this world can be please always focus on that city don't lose your vision don't lose sight of that city maana biblia inasema and god was not ashamed to be called the god they were looking for a city lakini musiwe kama mke wa lutu the wife of lot maana mungu alikuwa anawaambia get out of this country i am taking you to a better place lakini yeye akienda kuna mambo ya nyuma yanamvuruta waliambiwa usiangalie nyuma don't look backward because if you look backward you will never make it forward lakini huyu mama akaangalia nyuma maisha yake yakaishia pale but when you have hope you will always look forward and finally when you have this hope the blessed hope it does not give up no matter the difficulties and the challenges you face the blessed hope never gives up no matter the difficulties or the challenges that you face in this life yes you may go through the worst in this world yes you may go through the most painful situations but when you carry and you sustain the blessed hope you will never give up this hope never gives room for you to give up no matter the difficulties you keep on hoping you keep on standing you keep on moving no matter the challenges you face the hope will never give up this hope never quit in the book of job chapter number 19 the book of job a man who lost everything but never lost the hope and a man because he never lost the hope the hope restored everything he has he had lost and i am declaring to someone even if you can lose everything don't lose hope what you have lost will be restored by the hope that you have in god you can lose everything but don't lose hope in god this hope will restore everything you have lost everything job lost was restored because he sustained the hope in god Job chapter number 15 Are we there? Are we 19? Job chapter number 19 and we are reading verse 25. Would you see the word of God? 
This is what this man was saying. After going through the difficulties. After going through the pains. After losing the family. After losing his property. There is something that Job never lost. And that was hope in God. And these are the words of Job. And he said. I know that my redeemer liveth. And in the end. He will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed yet in my flesh I will see my God I myself will see him only my eyes and I not another my eyes will see the Lord when you are going through difficulties and you have the blessed hope you can say like Job I know my redeemer liveth even when my skin has decayed yet I will will see the Lord. I have hope I will see the Lord. Everything is dead. Everything has been destroyed. But this hope it keeps you going. It keeps you standing. It keeps you taking another step. And it keeps on saying my Redeemer liveth. Nejoe mogori ariye muoyo. Ona mwere wakua ware kia kuora. Nejoe maithoma akua. Nemaka muona. I know I will see my Redeemer. I will not lose hope because of the difficulty because of the challenges I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living you will see the goodness of the Lord in this land of the living even though it is difficult maintain the blessed hope the Redeemer liveth in the mighty name of the Lord he will stand on the last day and my eyes will see the Lord my redeemer live he was even saying on a mwere wa kwa wa fudha eh, that is not my end on a jikai kyo kafurine that is not my end ne joe de na kere kerero beyond the grave and I will see my redeemer and because of that I can endure every challenge and every difficulty because I will see the Lord people of God I bring you good news this hope will never disappoint you not in this life but even the life beyond the grave on a twakinya kafurine even beyond the grave kere kere no gito getire muayo ini oyo tu no kere kere no gito ke makeria ya kafuri ate noto kamuona we will see the law. Na kabra hatu jamuona huko binguni. You will see the redeemer in this world. Doka komotanga zera. Otana muona kowi goro. May you a redeemer manifest. Gai waku arwe onania. Musi omogo kori. Agerwe onania. Na maidoma kumaro mwe onera. Because we have hope. And those who have such a hope. They purify themselves. Those who have such a hope, they don't look back. Ata kama mambo ni mazuri huko nyuma, unaka kama yule mama, ambaye alikuwa naitua Ruth, alimuangalia mama naitua Naomi, akamuangalia mama hana chochote, akamuangalia mama amefiwa, na mama anaonekana hana amani, mama Naomi akamuambia, rudini kwa watu enu, maana mimi vile nilivyo, hakuna tumaini, na ye Ruth akamuambia, usinisha wishi ya kwamba mimi nirudi kuna kitu nimeona your god shall be my god and your people shall be my people and where you die there i will die and there i will be buried i am not looking back i am going forward because i have hope in your god na yule ruth ambaye alikuwa hana tumaini yule ruth alikataa kuru rudi nyuma hata kama kulikuwa na mambo yangemfanya rudi nyuma alipochukua hatua the hope never disappointed her hey i bring to you good
good news someone you will never be disappointed Ruth was never disappointed someone in this house keep on taking a step keep on moving with God just like Ruth you will never be disappointed Ruth yuri ya wana kwe mohoreku Kairetu gatare na mothuri Kairetu gatare na muana Kairetu na nekanini na nemotumia wa adigua Noga gekorua na kere gerero Hare gai wa Naomi Na ke gaiori ya kere gere ire Daiga na goga sonora Todo the furi ugete Maitha maito newe maso the gere ria Na matiga na go sonoka Ne gware ria moto wa the way ha ha Ota yufu Ate mogori ya rio muoyo I want want you to declare my redeemer liveth my redeemer liveth and I will see him I will not lose hope my redeemer liveth and I will see him Everybody standing on your feet My Redeemer live Mogo kori ya leo mwa ya mwa Rewa itha wito Duwe moko maku na igoro Dotige korora na dhuza Made komo igete We are not those who look back And are destroyed But we are those who look forward And they save their lives Everybody lifting your hands Begin to declare My Redeemer live My Redeemer live Omoza mo kori ya rio muoyo ona mwere wako aware kia kuora ne joe no kamuona maitho mako no makamuona ne guo ne gotori ya kere gerero I will maintain the hope that I will see my redeemer I will see my redeemer in Jesus precious name don't lose this hope it will never disappoint you Mogo kori ya le muoyo Na noa karo gama Na noa uka muona Tutiga soke na dhuda Na tutikaro le na dhuda Tusoke tuikare tugi dheragia Todo tui na kiri gire rogeke And when we have that Ona liri ya goka We will go with him My desire is Every one of you will make it to heaven That no one we are with today Maana hawa wasichana walianza wakiwa kumi Lakini siyo wote waliingia Mimi nina waombea wale ambao wamepokea hili neno You don't shout with us You don't just serve with us But make it to heaven Keep yourself pure Turn away from sin That we will all meet in heaven And the Lord will bless us May the Lord bless you And may the Lord keep you May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you. May the Lord bless you with peace. And I declare from today, no more disappointment. Because you have hope in the law, no more disappointment. You are blessed. And it is well with you. In Jesus' name. And all of us shout, Amen. Give the Lord a mighty clap.